on today's house and shop it's hits from the honeydew let's get started <laughs> Stupid as honeydew projects go this should be a fun and quick one the boss lady needs a pull-up bar in her workout space <laughs> I've been kicking around out here for a little while already today, so I got my materials cut out and I already got this sort of figured out. So let's get you guys caught up to where I am and we'll get this thing started. People ask what I use to get off. Things like mill scale and this coating here, it's on this black pipe. Strippers. If you got a better product that you like to use, let me know in the comments section. Love to hear from you because I'm always looking to make this process quicker. Now I got you guys caught up to where I am, the next thing I need to do is get these joints coped. With all the final cuts made over here, we're nearing my favorite part. The part where I get to melt steel with electricity. <laughs> got a little bit more deburring to do. Got to clean everything up, give it a nice acetone wipe. We want to TIG weld with super clean metal. Ooh, and that's off to the races. Now, of course, anytime you're welding, you want clean, clean metal, but especially when you TIG weld and it gives you the, those beautiful welds everyone talks about. Now, of course, I'm not, I'm not suggesting I'm going to give you stacks of dimes here. I'm just saying <laughs> you need clean metal.
All right, for now, that's as far as I'm going on this. We just want to get it tacked up and then get the other side all tacked up because too often, if you weld this out right now, I might have miscalculated something a little bit. Something needs to wiggle or move a bit, and you're not going to be able to it's welded out. So we get it tacked on four sides. It can't walk. We'll go get the other one and do that one too. Things are moving along quite nicely. Now, I don't know if this was the best way to go about this. I am certainly a fixture table rookie, but I will tell you this, it's holding the tolerances I need for this job, and I'm pretty excited to have it this way. So, if one of you is looking at this going, hey, uh, Knucklehead, there was a hundred times better way to do this, feel free to fire that in. I'd, I'd be happy to hear from you. But otherwise, I'm moving forward. This is working out quite nice. I'm all welded up over here and I gotta tell you something, for a guy who like only welds the round stuff like every uh, 12, 18 months or so, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Is it perfect? Oh God, no. But it, uh, it's certainly good enough. It's gonna be able to hold the weight and the pain and the agony we'll put it through. So certainly wish I got the opportunity to do it a bit more. I might actually get good at it. <laughs> Next step, I'm gonna weld some end pieces on here. That way if they wanna like latch a workout band or something like that over it, it won't slide off the end. Uh, then after that, just drill some holes so we can get it tapped into the basement when we get it down there. Uh, it's the paint boot, so keep your fingers crossed for me. We're moving forward. All the building is done, now it's time to get a coating on this sucker, and I've lucked out, it's a beautiful day outside. So I'm gonna get set up out there, quickly knock the oils off this with one last cleanup. Mm, then it's just easy selling from there. Go outside and get some color on this. Can't wait to see what it looks like. The 
first coat is down and in the books. I used this Rust-Oleum hammered finish. I don't know. It's kind of looked like workout equipment to me, I guess. But less than an ideal day, it's wicked humid out here. So these things are going to be drying a little slow. But I have a question for you guys. Though. See this? These are my painting glasses. These have been hammered, stepped on. But I don't care if they get overspray on them. What do you guys and gals do that wear glasses? So you, you have a system that you use for this? I'd love to hear from you if you got a better solution than these because they, they need to be retired. These are like uh, five prescriptions ago. Check it out, a couple days have passed. The paint is really good and hard on this and I am super happy with the way this came out. Have a look. Oh yeah, that's sweet. So the only thing left to do now is take it down into the basement, get it mounted to the ceiling, and then get to doing work. Have a look around, we're here in the HOC dungeon. <laughs> Let's get this thing installed. This puppy a test. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Well, that's it. It's a wrap. The first hits from the Honeydew Project is down and in the books. If you made it this far, thank you so much for following along with me. I'm going to leave links in the description for all the tools I use. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments section. I would love to hear from you. And if you feel so inclined to watch some more House of Chop videos, Make sure you like and subscribe. We have more coming to you with melons than without. Catch you next time.